So we're learning Golang Web Dev, fall semester, whole class. There's a playlist on YouTube. Somebody just said, where is it? You go to YouTube, Todd McLeod, and you'll, I have a couple of channels. One is personal, that might be the personal one, but the Learn to Code will have all my coding ones. And uh, and then once you come there, you could just go to playlists. My name is Todd McLeod, and this is my... And, uh, and I'll, here's Learn SQL, and, uh, and I'll have a new Golang Web Dev uh, and so it'll be the most recent Golang Web Dev playlist. So that's where it'll be. And now we are going through the course outline. And the course outline for everybody else can be found right here, right there. There's the course outline. And, uh, and then, so we're going through some homework. So this homework, we had change mod. Nano is, you have to be on Unix or Linux, but it's a little text editor. Cat, just print out the contents of a file, right? So we learned all that stuff about GitHub last week with SSH, totally cool. And we were catting out the public key so we could copy that and drop that into uh, GitHub's SSH area. And uh, remove is to remove a file, remove recursively with force. Sudo is a super user do, so if I ever kind of like try to run a command and the command doesn't work, right? So let's say I try to, you know, create a file with touch and it didn't work, I could do sudo touch at, uh, I don't know, uh, what's in our ski resort? Heavenly. All right, yeah, heavenly, but so I could run that as sudo, and then it's going to ask me for my computer password. I'm not going to type it in. And, uh, and then, um, yeah, it brought me back to my prompt. I've got like a really long prompt description there. So anyhow, that's, uh, that's sudo super user do. And then copy, we'll copy from one place to another place. So that's kind of cool. So I could do uh, ls-la. And then I could do touch and heavenly, and then uh, LSLA. And I could do copy uh, from here, and dot is the current directory here, heavenly, to like home, and that's home. And uh, I'll just do it to my home directory. We'll see what happens. And then if I go to my home directory, cd wham, or that's exactly the same as this, right? Go to my home directory, and lsla, uh, I've got heavenly there. You see it? So I copied something. I'm going to remove heavenly, and I'm going to go back into cd go source github goes to 11, golang web, de web dev. And uh, we were in 000, and then 000, 000, 000 temp, and I think it's 63. 63. There we go. And um, and it's still there here because I removed it from where I copied it to, but I didn't remove it from there. So I can uh, move this if I wanted. I could move heavenly. And let me just try this because I'm already in that directory. I can move heavenly and I'm going to move it to my root. And now if I look here, heavenly is no longer there. But if I change to my root, then uh, heavenly is there. So that was move and copy. And then echo. What does Echo do? Anybody know? Anyhow, you know, a few more to look up there. Don't worry about Echo PS, the pipe symbol, grep, and then CD definitely do. These are, uh, what's Echo? Echo terminal command. Echo in computing is command 
including command and DOS, OS2, Microsoft Windows, Unix, operating the outputs, the strings, it is being passed as parameters. It is a command typically used in shell scripts and batch files output stas text to screen. Yeah, I think, I think it's just print. Echo. Well, heavenly has nothing in it. Nano heavenly. I, I removed ha Okay. Nano new file. And this is new, new. And then exit. And yes. And then echo new file. So it just gave me the file name. Echo, echo, env. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, let's get rid of that from the homework. Edit. Echo is gone. I'll get rid of crap. All right, so those are some terminal commands.